multiple sclerosis, disease-modifying therapy, and when to take your COVID-19 vaccine. Don't turn away because I'm answering that question starting right now. Howdy. Thanks for learning about MS with me, Aaron Boster. I'm the founder of the Boster Center for Multiple Sclerosis, where we care for families impacted by MS from around the globe. Today, I wanted to address a rather timely topic. I'm making this video in February 2021. And almost every clinic visit, families are asking a very appropriate question. Hey doc, I have MS, I'm on disease-modifying therapy X, and when is the best time for me to get the COVID-19 vaccine? Now that turns out to be a rather frustrating question because we don't yet get to pick when the vaccine is offered. There's a rollout period, appropriately so, to make sure that folks that are at the highest risk have access first. Folks that are in nursing homes and many frontline workers and doctors like myself have been vaccinated and slowly other populations of people are being offered the vaccine. We don't get to pick the perfect timing of when a vaccine can be given. If we had ready access to vaccines, so if I had a bunch of vaccines in my freezer and I could immunize you at the perfect time, I could tell you for each of the MS disease modifying therapies, do it here, do it here, wait this amount of time, wait that amount of time. The problem is we don't get to choose. And so what do we do? I think the simple answer is, if somebody offers you the COVID-19 vaccine, say yes. Now, of course, you have to talk to your provider about the right decision for you. But speaking generally, I want people to be vaccinated. And I don't care so much about the exact timing because we can't really control it. Think about it this way. And let's use an example of a B-cell depleting therapy, something like ocrelizumab or rituximab or ufotumumab, these are B-cell killers. And if you had just had one of these B-cell killers, we've suppressed your B-cell response and that will probably have uh, an impact on how your body receives the vaccine. Now we'll use the Pfizer or the Moderna vaccines as examples. We know from their data that when you immunize someone with a Pfizer or Moderna vaccine, there is a massive B-cell response and there's a massive T-cell response. So both arms of the adaptive immune system are triggered. If you just had a B-cell depleter and we gave you the COVID-19 vaccine, it's not gonna trigger an attack. It's not gonna cause a COVID infection. We believe it's safe. And you will mount a T-cell immunity against COVID-19. Probably you will mount an attenuated or truncated or shrunk response to the B-cell portion of the immunity. It's not gonna be zero probably. It'll be less than 100, maybe it'll be 50 or 70. And that's a whole heck of a lot better than no immunity whatsoever. In a imaginary perfect world where I have access to vaccine, I can simply check your COVID-19 antibodies just before your next B-cell treatment. And if we find that it's low, I can give you a booster. Again, right now I can't do that. Now, what about some of these uh, drugs like Mavenclad or Lentrata that deplete your cells? Again, there's a perfect window of time, which is probably about three months after you're dosed. And if we have occasion to time it, we will. But if we don't have occasion to time it, I still want you to take the vaccine when offered. It will still work. It may just be attenuated. The bottom line is we have two interests that we have to address. Treating the multiple sclerosis. There's a 100% likelihood that you have MS. And so I wanna treat the disease that we know we need to treat. We also wanna protect you against COVID-19. One thing that we can do is we can mask up. And this still remains a very, very important tool. I want you to sanitize your hands. I want you to stay away from people that don't live in your bubble. This is super important and that's not gonna change anytime in the near future. I also want you to get vaccinated. And because we can't pick the exact proper timing, when someone offers you the vaccine, it's my opinion that you say yes. You ready for some snow angels? Snow angels! Here, Here we go! go. Here, Here we, we go! go. Ah! <laughs> my name is Aaron Boster and I want to thank you for learning about MS with me and until my next <laughs> video or my next live stream or the next time I see you here at the Boster Center for Multiple Sclerosis, be safe and take care.